An investigation is underway in Santa Rosa County after two tractors were reported stolen in Florida and Alabama. Those tractors belong to two separate business owners. And we learned today those tractors, uh, where they went after they were stolen and how a car dealer says he was duped into purchasing them. Well, today we spoke with the owner of one of the stolen tractors. Tanner Stewart is now live outside Deep South Crane Rentals with more details. Tanner. Bob, the sheriff's office confirms this is an active investigation and that auto dealer that you mentioned gave us documents today that show just how far these reported thieves went to sell these tractors. You know, we've had pickup trucks and different things like that stolen, but not a something of that size. Jimmy White has more than 50 pieces of heavy equipment for rent at Deep South Crane Rentals in Pensacola. Their New Holland farm tractor, though, isn't for rent. In February, White says someone went on their property, loaded up the tractor, and drove away with it. I mean, we're, we're right on Highway 29 in Century, where the tractor was located, and it's you know, it's not a small object. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's there one minute and gone the next. And, and how these people can just come in there on someone's property and, and take a piece of machinery like that is just beyond me. We can confirm this isn't the only recent tractor theft. I spoke on the phone this morning with another business owner out of Flomaton who was unavailable to go on camera, but tells me his 2022 New Holland tractor was also stolen a week before this. Jimmy White says law enforcement informed him the stolen equipment could be linked to a larger criminal operation. I heard of that because of the, the uh, investigators out of the Bruton area. They had mentioned that there, there may be like up in central to North Alabama, that there's been a track of tractors being stolen. Yeah. Um, not saying that ours is tied to that by no means, but you know, I guess when something like this happens, you start hearing those stories out there. All I know is it's uh, been located at, uh, in Navarre somewhere. Other than that, I don't have a lot of details yet. We were able to track down where the stolen equipment was located. As we've uncovered today, both New Holland tractors were sold to a used auto dealer on Highway 98. While the owner declined to go on camera, the documents he provided to WEAR explain how they landed in Santa Rosa County. This bill of sale shows a person under the name of Tim Commander sold the two tractors to the auto dealer. The dealer tells me the sheriff's office informed him the documents were fabricated. The story takes another turn with these papers that show one of the tractors was purchased from Kingline Equipment in Cantonment by a man named John Wall and later sold to Tim Commander by John Wall's niece as seen by this will that shows John Wall gave his assets to his niece after his reported death. The auto dealer tells us all of the documents he requested in the sale appeared legitimate. He tells us he's cooperating with the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office tells me no arrests have been made. They didn't offer any new information, citing the active investigation. I'm told more information could be released over the next week by the sheriff's office, and we know that these two tractors combined, one had just a few miles on it, was nearly brand new, the other a 2022 combined worth just shy of $200,000. Reporting live tonight in Escambia County, I'm Tanner Stewart.